Hey everyone, this is the Beard Zeno, and today we take a look at the NECA Prometheus 2 pack, the Trill Bite versus the Engineer Battle Damage. And I was really looking forward to getting this set because, you know, it's the only way you can get the Trill Bite. And, you know, for a Prometheus display, that'd be really neat. You know, it's a crucial part of the development of the Deacon, because, you know, it's basically the prototype facehugger. And it's just a really, really cool set. Hang on, just give me one second. Pardon that cut there, I had to blow my nose. Ugh, allergies. And, uh, wow, this is looking mighty fine. Mighty fine. It has the exclusive Battle Damage Engineer inside there. It has a trail bike. And you can see it is a Toys R Us exclusive, but... Ordered this from eBay from a guy. Free shipping, 20 bucks. Not bad at all. Now you'll notice something right there. You notice what that looks like. Ugh, oh, very Giger inspired. Very Giger inspired. Good lord. Now, you know, this was sold on shelves in Toys R Us, so they put the sticker over, I'm just gonna call it the tip. And it has, you know, shifted in packaging and everything, because it's been out for like a year, I think. Probably more than that, let me see. 2012, so it's been out for two years almost. So yeah, flip over on the back, you can see the artwork there. Pause and read if you so choose. Okay, we're good. Oh, and of course, there's the Wayland Corp logo down there. Down here at the bottom, because I forgot to cover this in the last video, is the credits for the people who actually sculpted this. So thank you, all you people who made these awesome figures. And now we're going to cut this open. That NECA figure smell. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Gonna fo oh, okay. I can change the focus. Okay, that's awesome. Did not know that. Ah, that NECA figure smell. <sighs> smells so good. Is that my crack? Alright, now we got this bad boy open. Let's, uh, yep. I'm saving this. This is going into the display because that looks fucking amazing. So I can go on here. You can go on here. And, oh my god. Oh. oh, tingly tinglies, tingly tinglies, tingly tinglies. So cool. And, uh, that, 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 that's just the trail about its penis. Okay, now we actually have them out uh, on twist tie and everything, so let's take them out of the package. Do the engineer first and uh, take a really good look at this guy. It has that little rubber diaper, as you know, some reviewers call it. And it's not bad, not bad at all. I really like the feel of this figure. I saw one review where the guy got two right feet. Thankfully, both of mine came in okay, but that's pretty crazy that you could get two right feet on this guy. <laughs> What? Oh god, I just pinched my finger! Oh shit. There's no, there's no kind of, it's not a ball joint, but you can't hinge the hand. It sucks. Okay, so the ball joint is painted, that's why it's, you gotta work that paint off. So be wary, if that's the case, you may want to use the hairdryer trick, but it's just paint, so you should be able to, if you just softly, you know, grip it like this, thumb up under the bicep, index finger on top of the bicep, and just slowly apply pressure. Wow. Slowly apply. Slowly apply pressure. There we go. You should be able to get that up, no problem. So, wow, this figure... Figure is really, really nice. I like this guy a lot. Let's take a look at some of the details on um, his crotch. Oh, okay. Here is his face. Holy shit, this thing looks amazing. Wow, this is the battle damage variant. And you can actually buy three different versions of this guy. Apologize for the sniffle. 
And uh, I think this is the best one because you have the plain white one, which is you know, this this white right here and this white right here on him with a little bit of shading, which that's the way he comes out of the the tube, pretty much. And this is after the ship's crashed. He comes in to attack Shaw when he meets his death with Chill White, which we'll take a look at in a second. And then they have the holographic version of this guy. And honestly, the holographic version, I think, is a complete waste of money. Complete waste of money. There's only one scene of that, and it's um, it's when David comes in and you hear that do 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 do, you know, the whistle, and you see the star map and all that wonderful stuff. I didn't even think the holograph version of this guy was in the movie until I watched it last night. I uh, apologize for the sniffles. But, uh, it is. And, uh, I actually really like the holographic version of the chair suit. So I'm going to pick that up over the normal chair suit. Because you don't actually see the chair suit guy walking around in the movie. That one's a little bit more movie accurate than just, uh, having the, the normal chair suit guy. Because you actually see the holographic chair suit. So, I'm good. I already got that guy on order. Got David on order, which I can't wait for. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to use this as my engineer. I don't see any I need to buy any other engineers, especially for my display. And, uh, yeah, I'll put him over here to the side. I'm going to make a cut real quick because I have to get this guy out of the package. There's a lot of loops and shit, and it's going to take forever, so give me one minute. Okay, there we go. It is now out of the package, and holy shit. Let me, <laughs> oh, wow. Let me readjust my camera here. Getting it a little closer that way. Bring the focus in on this guy. All right, there we go. And oh my God, this thing is really huge. Each leg has a little bendy wire inside of it, just like the alien tail. And I'm just bend all these out real quick. Just so you can see how big this guy is. It looks like a fucking Alaskan king crab. This thing is huge. Nah, shit. I can't remember which way it's supposed to go. If it's, if this is the head, or if this is the head. I have to rewatch the movie. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna do that after we get done with this. So when I pose it, and you'll be able to see that, just watch the scene. But each leg can rotate. So, oh, this is stuck. Okay, okay, it was painted shut the shut. Okay, that is a problem with some NECA figures, but, you know, that's easily done. They spare no expense on the paint, that's for sure. And uh, that one was paint shut, too. Alright, so... This guy is really, really nice. And his little, um... Inner mouth... Tongue thingy. Oh, refocus. It goes just in there, and uh, really, you fucking thing. And yeah, that looks very terrifying. And you can see all the vaginas on the legs, shit. Very, very geegerish. Very, very geegerish. I like it. Very disturbing, and you know, that's what I like about geeger designs. You know, they're very disturbing, but also very cool. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, take a look at that scene real quick. Alright, this is the head of the trilobite. The little nostrils, that's where its face would be, I guess. So when it lands on the engineer in the movie, this is the way it lands. So, just so, in case you want to be movie accurate, the nostrils go towards the engineer's head. And just before we put this on here, just so you know... You can do this, just like in the movie. So, hang on, I didn't go in there, better I'll go. Twist a little bit. Which is a bit weird. It looks very, very wrong. I'm trying to get it back on there, sorry, I'm doing a weird motion. And anyways, now we're going to pose this guy on top of the engineer, just like he's going to impregnate him. And holy shit, do I love this thing. This thing is like super, super plausible thanks to these bendy wires. And you can pretty much reenact the scene from the film. 
I mean, look at this. You're able to bend the, you know, the tendrils, I guess, you know, the big, long tentacles around the actual, you know, appendages, you know, legs and arms of the engineer. And holy shit, it looks really nice. And you can use this guy, uh, you know, the side legs for, like, stability. So that thing looks really nice and really menacing. And just like in the movie, you can wrap the big one around his neck and have... Good old, everybody's favorite accessory coming in and about to plop in his mouth. I'm not going to pose like that because that looks really disturbing. Now, just a uh, just little funny thing. Like I said before, this was a Toys R Us exclusive, and they had this sitting on the shelf. Pretty weird. But yeah, this thing looks super, super nice. Let me slight refocus. And holy shit. Now, just uh, one little side note. These things can and probably will come off when you're posing, but bam, snap right back on. They're supposed to design like it's a pressure point. That way they don't break. They just, you know, come off and you can repose it and put it back on. I mean, you can even take the leg off, bend it, put it around the appendage, and then bend it to go back into the hole like you want to. So you can see the one right here on top is starting to come out, but I don't think it will. And, uh, yeah, this is, I mean, just, uh, readjust, and okay, there we go, there we go, it's fixed. See, this looks really, <laughs> really cool. That is nice, I'm really glad I picked this up. And, of course, you can even set it up on, like, a door or something, like, put the little neck of stands under this guy, and then... Have like a door where you have the, the trail bike come out, and just like in the movie where you have actually have it standing up. So I have his tentacles on the other side of a door to give him um, support like this. Uh, you can't see that, wonderful. So just give him support like this. You could even have it in action pose like this, and that's really, really neat. You don't have to have it laying down. And uh, I mean, it, it wouldn't be laying down like this anyways uh, if it was movie accurate. So I, I don't know. I'll find a way to pose this car really nice, and I can't wait to show you guys the display. And, uh, it's gonna be a while until I get that one finished, because I gotta get the supplies and stuff, but... And I gotta buy the, um, uh, Deacon as well, so I can get the hammer peds to go in there, too. But, up until then, this is, uh, this has been the Engineer vs. Trailbite 2-pack. Holy shit, this thing's awesome. If you're into Prometheus, I say pick it up. It's a really nice set. And of course, uh, this this um, engineer figure is a nice figure. So if you don't want this chill bite set, you can buy just the standalone engineer figure, the white one. I don't recommend the holographic one because it does. Ooh, pardon me. It doesn't look that great. It doesn't look that great at all. So yeah. But the the normal white one. Let's say, if you don't want the trail bike pack, you're into Prometheus, and you like the engineer design, get the white one. Because it's absolutely worth it in this figure. I mean, the white one has, like, the like the calm and collective face. This is the only one that has, like, the screaming face. I guess so you can put everyone's favorite accessory inside there. But, uh, I mean, it's cool that they included that, but it is really, really, really disturbing. Especially if they put that on shelves for kids. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but, hey, you know, it's just Giger designs, right? And, uh, and let me just, yeah, there we go. See, that looks, that looks nice. This looks really nice. So pick this up if you can. Probably get anywhere between $20 and $30. Like I said, I found it on eBay free shipping for $19.99. If you can find that deal, I say grab it. It's absolutely worth that. But if you can only pay up to like $30, and if you can only find it for like 30 it's still worth it, in my opinion, especially if you, you're you hunting it down. But absolutely, you can get this guy for a cheaper price. Just gotta look around. So if you want it, it's there. You just gotta find it. And you don't have to shop at Toys R Us. You can definitely buy it from uh, online stores and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this review. Um, up next, I don't know if it's gonna be today, I don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow. But we're gonna be doing the... Uh... I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. The NECA Corporal Hicks from Series 1, so like, yeah! Stay tuned for that!